Hi, welcome back to MS Excel 2013 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at editing data within the cell. Well, you've seen before on how to go in and add text. Well, text is pretty simple. We can actually go in and add in the number that we want and enter it. What happens if we want to go in and change? Well, two methods of doing this. Select the cell that you want to change. Start typing in immediately the number that you want and as you can see there, the number automatically changes. Push enter and you've confirmed your change. If I want to go to the change it, I can go to the top under the formula bar here. I can select it on the formula bar, delete it, type in the new one and enter. Or I can go to the formula bar highlight it and start typing the number that I want. Right, another way to get rid of information within the cell is you can click the cell make sure in your, that you're on your home ribbon or your home tab if not, click on the home tab go to your editing section over here and under the clear click on the drop down arrow and there you'll have a number of different clear formats or clearing methods clear all, clear format, clear content, clear comment or clear hyperlink if for now I want to clear everything I just click on clear all and it removes the content of the cell just going to copy right let's have a look at further deletions Okay, the other method is right click on the cell and go over here on the pop-up menu to clear content. Right, let's say I'm working and by mistake I delete something and I realized I've made a mistake here. I should not have deleted this information. There is a way to recover it. You can go to your quick access toolbar, top left hand corner of your screen and you'll see an arrow over there pointing to your left. Click on that arrow, that is the undo, and there it brings up what I've deleted. I'm just going to delete it again. Now, on the right of the undo button is an arrow that gives you further selections. If I click on there, it gives, shows me all the um, things that I've done and th things that I'm able to go and undo by clicking on them. Another method that you can use is using your shortcut keys on your keyboard. I use it often. Control and Z will undo it as well. Right, what happens if we want to move data around rather than delete it? Uh, may, I might want to move it from one cell to another. I might want to copy it. I might want to do anything with it. Um, so to be able to overcome that problem Right. What I'm going to show you now is how to copy and move data around. Now, first of all, we have to understand the difference between copy and cut. If I copy something, I will remove. If I copy something, I will leave the original data behind, and I'll move and make a identical duplicate on another part of the page. When I want to go in and use the uh, cut and copy commands I go to the clipboard. So first of all let's have a look what we've got here. The copy command makes a copy of the data and leaves the original data behind. The cut command will cut that data, in other words it will take it and remove it from there leaving nothing behind and paste, putting it into the new area where we decide. Copy, as I said, makes an identical copy and will leave the original behind. Now you'll notice that there's a little paste board there. That paste board at this moment in time is grayed out. The reason for that is because I have not got anything selected within my spreadsheet. Right, let's have a look at moving this whole spreadsheet of mine to another position. Oh, sorry, let's let's copy it first. So first of all what we do is we select the area that we want to copy, click on our copy button, 
move to where we want to paste it and click on our paste button and as you can see there now a duplicate of that data has been put there if I want to cut the information select where I want to cut I'll go to the cut command move to where I want to put it click on the paste command and there you have it the dot has now been moved from row 1 through to row 20 the other methods of uh, copying and pasting is using your control keys control Y control C for copy and control V to paste. And there you see there's our information. Alright, um, we've seen how to move spread the spreadsheets around. Um, I've shown you how to move data around. Let's have a look at moving formulas. Now, as you can see here under column D, I'm just going to highlight them in yellow. Those are all formulas. You can see that by going down. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to copy this list of formulas from their present position in column G to column, let's say, N. So I'll go through the copy, go to N over here, I go to paste, and I've got no values. Why do I have no values? Once again, because of the relative references. Notice immediately it's taken on the reference of M. Right, let's have a look at the reason why these uh, formulas have copied across blank. Well, first of all, as I said, let's have a look at the actual formula we've copied. It's giving me a cell reference to the cell immediately to the left of it, which is M. If I go to my original formula and I double click on it, I've got the same thing as referencing to the cell on its left. So it's keeping up the relative references. Next, if I wanted to Let's just undo this. We're now going to paste it. It's back to M over N over here. And we're going to paste it. Now we're going to use paste special rather. And if I go here, you can see it's brought up on when I click on the arrow there, it brings up a number of selections. As you can see, paste, paste values, and other paste options. These are known as the special paste options. First of all, the what first one I've got there is paste. That's going to do a normal paste for me as it did when I um, did now. Then we've got formulas. If I tell it to put the formulas only, there we are. Let's just put the formulas. But once again, the formula is referencing to the cell here into M, which is correct. Right, let's have a look at the paste options over here. Number one, we've got this paste, which is standard paste. Then we've got paste formula, which will copy and paste the formula across. Then formula and numbering. As you can see, it's automatically taking the numbering or the currency that I've got shown there. Then keep source formatting. In other words, keep the formatting the same as where it came from. No borders. We'll remove the borders keep source column width we'll keep the same width as I've got at present and then transpose what that will do is it will change the direction from moving ourselves from being in a column to being in a row right we've come to the end of this video what I'd like you to do now is go around to your spreadsheet and uh, start working with a cut copy and paste and the um, paste special Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.